So it's been just a few minutes and everything's up and running. So at this point, what we're going to do um, is go to the portal, get the DNS name. Well, we kind of know the DNS name from the parameters file. Let's go check that out. Azure deploy parameters, JSON, and here um, you can see the DNS, DNS Prometheus. Here's the portal. Remember the resource group. We'll go to my resource groups here at the portal. Remember the resource group was called Prometheus Resource Group. There it is. You'll notice I have a bunch of infrastructure provision based on the deployment we just did. Public IP is a good place to go to get the DNS entry. And once you're here, you can copy that DNS entry to the clipboard. Once that's copied, we'll open up a new tab, paste that in, and the port at which Grafana is running is port 3000. We opened up that port during the deployment. We'll go here and we're in. Now this is not secure. We'll show that in a future video how to make this secure to make it HTTPS. But for the moment, um, I have logged in as admin. Um, what I'm going to do is change the password as well. That's something else you can do here to be more secure, obviously. So for the moment, though, let's just go ahead and um, watch this thing do some performance capturing. Let's walk through a couple more steps here. So there's a couple things we need to do to set up Grafana. One of those things is to add a data source to localhost 9090. What that really means is that Grafana needs to get its graph information from Prometheus, and so that's what that step does. Step two is we need to import this pre-built dashboard that we constructed. It has some basic metrics built in to save you some trouble, CPU, memory, networking, etc. So we'll just import this JSON file. It's part of the repo. You'll see it uh, as part of the download. Step three um, is to notice the dashboard will be blank at this point because we're not really um, scraping from any hosts yet. That's in a future step. Step four is we need to SSH into the Prometheus server because we need to attach this imported dashboard that we created for you into Prometheus. The way we do that is we SSH into that DNS that we looked at earlier. Yours might be different depending on what you put there. And in step five, we're going to go to this text file, this YAML target hosts text file on the Prometheus server. We're going to go in either as root or prom user, and we're going to modify this thing. And the file we want to modify here is in user local bin Prometheus target host dot YAML. We're going to add the following line. Notice that's a domain name, a DNS entry for another VM. That's the one that we actually want to monitor. And the point here is that that VM might be likely different for you. Well, it will be different. You probably don't have access to this VM to monitor, so you will put in your own host names or IP addresses. Notice the 9100. And you can add more than one um, host to monitor. You just add a comma delimited list here. So one of the steps we'll show here in a moment is to actually go in and add some software on that host so that it exposes performance metrics that Prometheus will scrape. Stay tuned for that in just a moment. Okay, let's walk through some of these steps that we just outlined. I'm going to click the Add Data Source, and I'm going to basically here go to the name, give this thing a name. Okay, so what we want to choose here is Prometheus. This is where we tell Grafana to talk to Prometheus. Um, and we'll just say My Dashboard here. And we'll go here and, and do localhost 9090, which is the current machine we're on, and say add. And so at this point, um, we have Grafana actually talking to Prometheus to get the data that we wish to graph. So we're ready to import the dashboard. And the way we do that here, we go up to this icon, go ahead and click dashboards, and use the import command. Okay, so now what we want to do is upload a JSON file, and we're going to do that very simply here by clicking on that button, going to your folder where you've actually um, did your git clone, and you'll see this important file here, and it's a pre-built dashboard. And to save you the time, we created this for you. You're going to just add it automatically, and then you're going to click um, import at this point. So what we'll do first, before we um, actually import, is go ahead and click 
my dashboard and at this point we can uh, click import now the dashboard's blank because we haven't yet attached a target that's the next step so let's go ahead and SSH into this DNS entry here that you specified during deployment okay we're in here now the point is to go in and modify the actual um, target host file okay so we're gonna go to the correct directory which is gonna be user local uh, Prometheus local bin Prometheus and then we're gonna also go and modify the target host file and here's where we just enter the target VM that we wish to monitor and the actual syntax for this is the following we say underscore targets colon and it's an array syntax so I think we also need to add some quotes here so the key thing here syntactically is that we want to have no quotes and this part is a simple dash because it's a YAML format and so this is an array but we'll put a single quote and in our case the the, the VM that we want to monitor is sent US VM 1 so this is the syntax you have to be very careful it's a dash space targets colon space again square bracket single quote the full domain name of the target machine colon 9100 important port that's the port that exposes performance metrics on that host and then a closing square bracket so that's really what we need to attach Prometheus to listen to the machines that we want to be tracking now this could be a comma separated list and I can go in and add more entries here if I wish for the moment we're just gonna actually monitor just this one VM so I'm gonna save this and uh, quit now the mistake I made is I did not um, I did this on purpose to remind you to go in as root so let's go ahead and um, save this line so we don't have to retype it and come in as root so an easier command might be sudo vim target hosts and we're gonna paste in our line here and now we're good to go go ahead and save because I was root I was able to make that modification very important point okay so we went back to the dashboard and magic is happening at this point you can see here that we're tracking CPU we're tracking a number of other things here and we're actually good to go here as far as monitoring this VM now at this point you can do other things you can add more performance metrics you can save this as a snapshot there's a bunch of stuff here built into this platform that you can leverage but we wanted to show you some basic stuff you can see here that the network's got a little bit of traffic we've got some disk IO happening on that VM the CPU is doing a few things not very much but anyhow um, this kind of took you through the entire process and we'll we'll elaborate more in a future video but for the moment we got you up and running with performance metrics on a host